Hi, this is Larry Brooks. We're going to talk about the Dr. D radiator lowering kit. Um, the Dr. D radiator lowering kit actually lowers the radiator 27 millimeters, lowering the center of gravity, giving the bike a nice light feel on top. Um, the riders mainly feel it entering corners and on that initial lean into the corner and the exit standing the bike up. Also, uh, over jumps, uh, anywhere that the track may be rough and the bike will move around a little bit. It, it's a great product. It's something that uh, actually hasn't been available in the past. Uh, normally, we took the radiators, had to cut the mounts, lower the mounts, re-weld them onto the radiator, or do it to the frame of the motorcycle. It was a really big job. Now, Dr. D makes it available in a simple kit, and uh, we're able to lower the, the radiators a, a huge amount. When you're talking about lowering a radiator an inch, that, that's a significant amount. So it makes the bike feel a lot better. It's going to make our Yamaha 450 have that good feeling. Um, the riders are going to be able to feel it right away. Uh, I think that that this is something that, you know, you can go too far. You, 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 the radiators are, are been tested. They're, they're in a position that the, the average rider feels that it feels good. Um, but, you know, lowering them makes it more specific for certain track conditions, more uh, track types. So let's get down to the shop and let's get started installing it. And we'll go through it step by step. Okay, we've made it down to the shop and we have Doug Dubach here that's going to help us put the radiator lowering kit on. Uh, Doug is the one that designed it, tested it, built it, and I think he's the best one to explain a little bit about what we're doing. Yeah, well, thanks Larry. What The whole thing came about from me watching all these very skilled technicians cutting tabs and the whole sides off radiators and rebuilding them just trying to get the radiator down to get that weight of a uh, you know aluminum box with water in it down a little bit lower on the bike to help the handling so we came up with a very simple kit they're uh, basically little links little aluminum billet links that you remove your radiators bolt them to the frame and then reattach your radiators to these links and so on this particular bike we're able to drop the radiators 27 millimeters and that's part partly in due to the routing of the exhaust. Some of the other bikes, we can't drop them as far because you've got that head pipe there. So with this Yamaha design, it uh, gives us a lot of room to move them. And the feel of the bike, the difference that you felt? Well, what it does, it just helps the bike that, that feeling in the corner, being able to make an adjustment once you're into the corner, just the, the weight of the bike left to right is improved. So it's, uh, it's not this much of a change, but it's a, a change enough that uh, you'll notice it if you go and ride it back to back. We've done a lot of testing over the years, or, or I have, I'm sure Doug has too, with weight, moving it around a little bit. And you do have to be careful. You can't move things just because. I mean, there has to be a reason and, and you, have to, you have to have a feeling, a better feeling when you do make these changes. So um, the changes Doug has made, Doug is, rides a Yamaha all the time, does a lot of testing. So he knows the feelings that you want and the changes that you need to make to get those feelings. Yeah, thanks Larry. That is something that, you know, I've been guilty of my whole life. I think I've done more laps than probably any hundred people put together. And, and all part of that is learning the characters of the bike and then what you can do to improve it. And so I've got a very sensitive backside that I know what's going on. And, and so these little things, uh, and just like you say, I'm not just putting shiny parts on or anodized parts. Everything that we sell at Dubach Racing, it has a function. Right, and that's what we're after. We're not just changing parts to change parts. We're changing parts to get a performance gain, to get a better feeling with the bike. Um, we're doing it for you to understand a little bit about what this change would make in the, in the, the rider feel that you get. Before you start, you need to drain the radiator, get the fluid out so you can take that bottom hose off. Always keep your radiator cap on, take the drain bolt out, and then you can remove your radiator cap and allow the water to spray all over you. Doug is removing the radiator shrouds. 
Now you want to remove the radiator mounting bolt. Next, he needs to remove the lower radiator hose. We're going to need to take a quarter inch off each side of the lower radiator hose to accommodate for lowering the right side radiator. So we're going to apply a little bit of blue Loctite here and then we're simply just taking this bracket and we're attaching it to the frame with a four millimeter Allen. And you're just going to, it wants to pull the bracket a little bit so when you're done you want the bracket just slightly forward from hanging straight down. That's where you want your bracket. Do the same thing up top. So that's what your bracket should look like when installed. Okay, so now we're going to take and we're just going to reattach the radiator. But first we want to install this hose back in place. So now with your hose in, in place, don't tighten this yet because you're going to be moving the radiator around to get the bolts to line up. Don't trust my torque. Torque it to the proper spec in your owner's manual. Now we're <coughs> ready to reinstall our guard. Make sure we go back and tighten our hose clamps. So now that our radiator is down, we need to put these brackets in place so that you'll have your original bolt location for when you replace your side shroud. So we just put these in place. Just about straight up vertical is the best. Once you put your, your radiator shroud back on, if you need to do any adjustment, just pull it back out, loosen this, move it over just a touch, retighten. So, but pretty much straight vertical is where it's going to need to be. So there's two of these. So now that we have these brackets in place and tightened down, we're going to bring the radiator shroud back in. Make sure that's popped in. This is under, so you've got the right location. And then you're going to look here. And you can see I've made a pretty good guess because that is directly lined up. You'll be able to put your bolt straight in there. Put the antifreeze back in your bike. And Check the bolt that you drained it, make sure that's tight. So we finished putting the lower radiator kit. Um, we want to thank Doug for coming by and helping us and showing us a couple of his tricks and an easier way to do it, the simplest way to install it. Um, thanks, Doug, for coming by. All I right. appreciate it. Well, thanks it. for having me, Larry. Hopefully this video will help you. You know, it's always a little easier to see it done than to read through a set of instructions so uh, hopefully this has been helpful and uh, you'll get your bike up and going and uh, faster lap times. Don't forget there are three ways that you can order here at Chaparral. You can call our 800 number which is 800-841-2960. Go to our website shapmoto.com or just come on into our store and you'll be able to order whatever you need. <laughs>